Okay, so this is just a simple look of playing Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition on an Apple Silicon Mac. This is one of my favorite games, and one of the reasons I was like, oh man, it's kind of tough going full-time to a Mac, but it turns out it actually runs pretty well on a Mac using Whiskey, which allows you to, it's basically just a wine wrapper and it makes it easy to install. This isn't like a full tutorial, it's just to take a look at Age of Empires 3. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and fire that up. You're gonna get an error when it first starts. It'll say it's like not an ad that it's not a supported graphics processor, but it will let you attempt to run. And as we'll see, it runs surprisingly well. And so this is an M2 13 inch MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM. So I do have the active cooling Though I haven't heard the fan. Some games, the fan will come on. I haven't heard it on this, and this is a game that's pretty demanding on Windows. I had that 6850U HP laptop, so that has the same 680M graphics as like a Steam Deck, and this game did not run that great on those graphics. So one issue that you can see is the menu buttons just don't show up. Sometimes it's like a multicolor sort of rainbow effect over here, but the main menu buttons just don't show up. Um, but the tooltips do, and if you're familiar with the game already, you can kind of get around okay. But let's go down and find our settings. I think, there we go. Um, so as you can see, 1680 by 1050, which on the 13 inch screen looks pretty good, targeting 60 FPS. Uh, the big ones really here, we do have FXAA, which isn't the greatest anti-aliasing, but it helps a bit, and Shadows. So that's the one on that other AMD laptop I talked about that it couldn't really get above a noticeably bad frame rate with Shadows on, and they make a really big difference in this game. So we will just go back out and start a game up. As you can see, this is just still the really early game, and I'll skip ahead to later game, but it's running really smoothly. Zoom in, take a look at our villagers, and it does not look bad at all, really. Um, I don't think, at least, at 1600 by 1080. In medium settings, this game doesn't benefit enormously from cranking the settings way up, but you don't want them turned all the way down, like I was saying. Okay. As you can see, a lot of the critical menus for like, building things, uh, those all work. So it, it's only those sort of game the main menu type menus and the pause menu, which it's pretty survivable that you don't really need those menus too often. So that's why I think this game is actually really playable on a Mac with Whiskey. So yeah, I will skip ahead so you can see how the performance holds up in the late game. All right, so as you can see, we are in the late game with a lot more units going on. I'm not managing things super well at the moment, but we are showing the AI who's boss, that's for sure. Performance is really holding up well. Um, the menus are still, you know, working, no shenanigans there. It's, it just plays really well. It's too bad that the main menus and the pause menus don't work, um, as you can see, an example of that there. But it doesn't really affect you once you're in the game, and it looks pretty darn good, plays pretty well. All right, well, as you can see, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition runs really well on the stock M2 uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let me, uh, we'll turn the volume down. I don't think we are really, yeah, I can't hear the fans at all. So it's handling it really well. This is better than I've seen any Windows Ultrabook handle this game. This is a fairly sort of surprisingly demanding game. So yeah. Good news. Let me know if you have any questions.